The Selma Police Department is offering a reward as they search for several suspects who shot at one of their police officers. I'm Angela Taylor. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Rod Carter. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live for us tonight. Mariah, you've been hearing from the neighbors and listening to the calls that came in from that officer during that incident. Yeah, guys, you know, the good news here is that we know that this officer is okay. But if you take a look beside me, you could see the tire marks where this officer drove in just before he started hearing gunshots. A terrifying moment of gunshots. Shot fire, shot fire. A Selma police officer using his radio to call for help. Shot fire from the school. Police Chief William Thomas feeling a mix of emotions as he describes what happened to one of his officers around 12.30 Wednesday morning along Pollock Street. Chief Thomas adding that the officer noticed three to four men just off of the roadway. The guy just was getting out to do his job. And it's a shame that it's society is where it is today. Sergeant Justin Voss showing us the bullet holes in the side of the officer's car. The chief telling us the officer's basic training instincts kicked in, having to drop to the ground and take cover. Usually after 11 o'clock at night, the old saying is, you're up to no good. And uh, he was just going to make a field contact. And before he even got a, a chance to engage or get out of his vehicle, he took gunfire. Smithfield Police, their canine and the Johnson County Sheriff's Office arriving minutes later, setting up a perimeter. Neighbors, including Phyllis Hall and her husband, not only heard the gunshots, but also spotted the suspects running away. Woke up, he woke me up, and then he said he saw three guys running down the path down here over the field. And then he said they took off down the road down that way. Hall says the family rushed to call 911. As the police department continues to investigate, they remain hopeful for answers. We have pretty good response out here from you know when we call um, I like to see them called <laughs> whoever did it you know had to see them called so yeah at this time the officer has not been identified but we're told he is taking some time off does have resources available the sheriff also told me that they found several bullet shell casings right here at this baseball park. They're asking if anyone has information or possibly surveillance video from nearby security cameras to reach out. They are offering a reward. In Selma, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. All right, Mariah, thanks for that.